Hi, my name is Gordon. Uh, I am the founder of the Influence Division of the Branded Content Marketing Association, author of Influencer Marketing Strategy, and the host of Influence, the global podcast that shines a spotlight on the influencer industry. Now, today, I'm going to briefly talk to you about uh, how to improve your LinkedIn profile. Um, do go and check out my own one, um, which is just simply Gordon Glenister. I say simply, it's not just Gordon Glenister, because one of the things you'll find out when you follow me is you'll find out that it says Gordon Glenister Influencer Marketing Dash Membership. Because one of the things that you can do is you can personalize your URL. And by personalizing your URL, you will find that whenever I comment, or you, if you're going to do this, on any other people's posts, it not only says Gordon Glenister, it will keep saying Gordon Glenister Influencer Marketing Membership. So what I'm subtly doing is reminding people about not who I am, but what I do. And the more times that you remind people about what you do, the more times that people associate you with that particular service or need. So it's a very easy thing for you to do. So that's number one. Second thing you can do is to make sure that your photograph is awesome. And I, I really mean that because if you think about your CV, you put so much attention and effort into your resume or CV, don't you? So why would you not do the same with your LinkedIn profile? So um, make sure it's a really high quality photo. Just for a bit of fun, there's a website called Photofila. And this actually is a really cool thing. It allows you to post a number of different um, pictures up on there and complete random strangers can vote and score your photograph according to its professional look, social look or dating look. So it's definitely one to, to have a look at. Uh, and actually, I use that myself because I used to have a picture with me with a microphone in front of it, and but it had quite a serious face. That looks great. And actually, when I did the first score, it came up as influential very high, but it actually had a quite a low level of likability, like six and a half or something. So when I changed the photo that didn't have the microphone, but had a lovely engaging smile, I dropped a little bit on the influencer, but actually my likability rose to eight and a half. So that was, I, mean, I know these people are random, but it's a really good thing to consider. Your photograph is everything. Or something you might like to do is as, as well is to download the LinkedIn app, which I'm presuming most of you have got on your phone. And it allows you to make a short five second video, which just effectively introduces who you are and what you do. But the benefit of that is, is that people can get a flavor for your personality, which they otherwise wouldn't do from just a photograph. Make sure that your banner is really, really clear and engaging. It tells people what you do, how people can get hold of you, and ideally a, a, a bit of a call to action. You'll see from mine, it's very clear that my book is there, my podcast is there, and it says exactly what I do and the link of my website. So to have a little look at that. You'll also be in a position where you can put your uh, services that you offer, make sure that you use all of the available, I think it's five or so that you can put, make sure that you do that. Also, have a look at your bio. And I mean the the initial freight, the, the initial you know, 20 words or so, because that is how you are going to be searched. That is how you are going to get more connections and people discover you by what's in your bio. So really think about maybe, you know, an important service that you're providing, but a value proposition, and then some of the key things within that. And you can go and have a look at mine and you'll see exactly what I've put there. But, but have a look at those that are in your particular niche and have a look at some other competitors maybe. Try and get the best that you think is out there. Stuff that really does um, work well. Um, also, make sure that you are really using your about, about us or about you, whatever. Um, I have laid mine out with some little green ticks and I've, I've put lots of paragraphs in there which says, this is what I offer for individuals. This is what I offer for companies. Rather than what I've seen sometimes is huge amounts of paragraphs all bulked up together or not even very much. You actually get a huge amount of content there. You could almost make LinkedIn your website, to be honest. So really have a think about that with a proper call to action. Ideally, if you can also include a location 
uh, on there as well. Um, because again, that makes a difference, particularly if you want to become more influential. People want to know where you're based around the world. Um, you can also put the creative mo mo mode on as well. Um, that's a very great, good way for you to be connected and followed with even more people. Um, I know that if you are paying for the premium version of LinkedIn, you will be able to see who has viewed you. Now, that can be a really great way to find out the types of people that you might want to work with in the future. Because if people have been looking at you and discovered you, you know, that's a possibility. Now, obviously, if you're on the free version, you're not in a position to be able to do that. Um, also, have a look at the, the different jobs that you do. Sometimes people forget, even if they've done short-term jobs um, or part-time things. For example, I'm a university lecturer. Well, I say I'm a university lecturer. I've only done a few lectures, but I've put that on my profile. Because what that does is that actually adds to the authority and influence um, of, of my position within that space. So if you've done stuff like that, put it down as a particular job. Don't just think, think, actually, I've only done that for two or three days. You know, put it down for sure. Um, and, and show that you really bring value in everything that you do with um, some, some of the media that you might, might be able to add. If you've appeared, for example, on a podcast or you've written an article, you know, use that media section on LinkedIn to be, to be able to really add some value there as well. Um, and as I say, add as many details as, as possible. One last thing to remember is, uh, well, two last things. A, if you've done any volunteer work, please put that down there. That's an increasingly interesting area for people to, to search and look for. But also um, testimonials. I'm a great believer in giving and asking for testimonials. Why? Because um, if you want to put those onto your website and link them back to LinkedIn, it's much easier to do that in LinkedIn. Also, it gives people that reassurance that the person they're going to be working with uh, has, has worked well. Um, and it, it's not like it's a sentence. It's, it's, it's quite a bulky little piece of um, amount of words that you can, you can describe um, somebody that's worked with you and vice versa. So there's a few tips for you to help improve your LinkedIn profile.